it's been called the Forgotten War, the, 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 the war in the Far East, seen as Pacific War, mainly involving the Americans, but um, the British had, had a big involvement. Japanese invaded uh, Java on the 1st of March 1942, um, and the, they defended the island for as long as they could, but the Japanese were, um, managed to infiltrate the island very quickly, very rapidly. They had no choice but to um, surrender on the 9th of March. He spent the next three and a half years as Japanese prison war on Java. Quite a few of his men were sent to the islands and to Japan uh, to work in labour camps um, to repair airfields or, and build airfields in some of the outer islands. Uh, but my father actually stayed on Java, probably saved his life because a lot of the, lot of the men actually died going on the boats to these labour camps and uh, obviously working in labour camps and on these notorious railway lines. I think initially they weren't, they were, the conditions probably weren't too bad. Um, I think they had food on a regular basis and they could exercise and they actually played sport. But then it sort of went downhill after that and the food became quite scarce and it was all rice and rice was um, pretty poor quality um, and medicines ran out because they had medicines originally um, and uh, so pretty squalid and they had to go on work, work details. Some of the work details were very tough um, and men didn't survive and then they picked up all sorts of diseases, dysentery, beriberi, um, conditions like this and um, it, the ones who weren't particularly fit uh, succumbed fairly rapidly. Um, and, and towards the end, when the Japanese were clearly losing the war, their treatment was pr very harsh. Um, there were regular beatings, much more than there had previously been the case. Um, so the Japanese take out their frustration on the prisoners. Also towards the end, they, they couldn't... Uh, my father had started this journal in the camp, um, he, a magazine which uh, the men contributed to, you know, keep them occupied and, you know, quite good quality magazines. And, um, but towards the end, the Japanese obviously didn't want this to happen, confiscated writing material. Paper was very difficult to come by, so they couldn't do that. So they must have had a pretty grim time um, in the last year, 18 months, as prisoners. Can you tell me about the difference in treatment as you perceive it between the end of the war in Europe and the end of the war in Forest? I think the general belief uh, on V Day was that the war had finished. In fact, newspaper headings were, I mean, I, the Daily Mail, in fact, um, said V Day, 8th of May, it's all over. My father was still a prisoner of war. There were still uh, troops fighting in the Far East, um, as if, you know, Britain was still at war. They, they thought they had been forgotten. There was no great s celebration when they arrived back home. Do you feel like they're forgotten now? I th well, yes, to a certain extent. Um, there's, there's been very little publicity about the up-and-coming VJ Day on the 15th of August. I mean, for instance, in history in schools, I mean, it's not mentioned. Um, you know, the, the European war is mentioned quite heavily. Um, and what happens to the Jews? I mean, the Jewish Holocaust, very, very important that school children know about this. Uh, it's been well documented, uh, but what happened in the Far East is not taught. And some of the Japanese atrocities, people probably won't realize ever happened in the future because people won't recognize it. How does that make you feel? Well, I, I just want some recognition uh, that there was a war still going on after VE Day um, and the, what happened in the Far East is brutal. To me, it's been swept under the carpet.